It's all yours. And by request, coming next week to the Sean Vig Fitness YouTube channel, we're taking the camera with to the gym. Uh, hey, go through a typical workout of mine, always changing, always cross-training. Make sure you are subscribed. Don't miss that. But for right now, let's do a full yoga workout. All right, I'm activating my yoga voice. 80,000 subscribers, that is just overwhelming, my friends. Thank you so much for that. Let's do a gratitude flow. Let's bring the hands together. Remember in yoga, breathing in the nose and out the nose, I actually recommend that for most disciplines. It pumps that breath directly way down here into the abdominals, into the diaphragm. It gives you that huge swelling in the front, the sides, and the back that lifts your entire body instead of breathing into the chest and rolling forward and crushing the breath. So hands together, cross-legged position. Drop those shoulders down, tuck the chin. It's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin in July. <clears throat> All right, inhale, bring the arms up over the head. Exhale, bring them down. That's, that's uh, gain control of our breathing. So breathe in a little slower. Let the breath match the movement, fill the lungs. Exhale, bring the hands back down. I use my breath to center, to focus, to squeeze out the distractions of the world. And uh, you may add on to that. Sometimes the breath is a total surprise. It unearths different things, things well hidden for many years perhaps. It brings it out. Inhale up. Back bend, relax the shoulders. Exhale back down. As you squeeze the breath from your lungs, give the abs a nice squeeze. Also, here comes the train. Inhale, lift up. Oh, exhale, coming down, coming down. Squeeze out the breath. One more time. I want you to breathe in, bring the arms up. This time, arms up and then bend the elbows. So we get a stretch in the back muscles and the lats. I actually took a power yoga class last night and I worked out at the gym two days ago. So this is always a treat to do this flow with y'all. Inhale up, exhale, come on down. Let's take three breaths right here as the deer flies caress my ears. If I get bit, you shall know. Two more breaths. Relax those shoulders back and down. The chest is open. Chin slightly tucked. One more time. Got some strength. There's some brewing here. Brewing from the inside out. Inhale. Take the arms up over the head. Side bend to the right. Bring the hand down. Stretch. Oh, when you do any class, anything with me, we're going to do a lot of bends. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. One more time, each direction. Bring the arms up nice and big. We're very bold here. Anything with Sean Vig Fitness, it's bold. Even when we release, when we let go, we want to do it boldly with focus to boldly go where no workout has gone before. And once more, ah. <sighs> inhale. Arms up, cactus arms. One of the originals here. Open the chest. You want to pull the arms back and down. Once more, inhale up. We got my dad and Addie sitting in the shade there on a break. And once more, open. Take an extra breath here. Draw the arms back. There's always a little bit more space in them, our moves, in those poses that we can extract. All right, inhale, bring the arms up. And then exhale, pull them down. Let's come to child's pose. Pressing back. Child's pose, hands forward, release back, stretch, fingers forward, shoulders back, little movement side to side. Five deep breaths in the nose and out the nose. The breath comes first. Two more breaths. 
And every inhale should really almost lift you off the mat, like you're levitating. The mat smells of fresh cut grass. Okay. Let's bring it up hands and knees position, little cat cow, two times each one. Inhale, rise up, round the upper back. Exhale, drop down. They hit a lot of big classic poses in this flow. And one more time each one. With some surprises. But never thinking ahead. We want to drown our focus in the moment. Shoulders back. Nice stretch. Okay, coming to downward facing dog. If you're like me, you like a good shirt tuck. Spread the fingers wide, bring it up. May you grow to love, cherish, and seek the down dog. We'll sway back and forth. Side to side. Should have put on some off, shouldn't I? I filmed my starter series, one of the first DVDs I ever filmed out here. That was about six years ago. Deer flies got me. By the end of the taping, my arm was nice and swollen. Very sexy. All right, two more breaths. But this heat does really help get that uh, those muscles released, get that blood flowing. Okay, inhale forward to plank position, also called high push-up position. Elbows in, shoulders back, spread the fingers, take an extra breath here. Gravitate that focus into your core, squeeze the abs on the exhale. And then inhale, press forward, lower down, hover, chaturanga, four limbs staff, knees down to modify. All the way down, roll the shoulders back into cobra, lifting through the chest. Ready to strike. Legs are back. Exhale, lower down. Take an inhale. On the next exhale, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. We complete the cycle. Let's walk the legs slowly in the down dog. Sink the heel down. You can also, when the heel comes down, lift the toes up a little bit. Get a little flex in there. Let's do 10 more steps. five. Oh, I hear the race is starting at the racetrack. Never a dull moment. Are you on the phone, Dad? My dad's on the phone now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's walk or jump the feet to the hands. We're going to rise up, stacking, 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 shoulders back and down, and then dive back down, forward, Oh, squeeze out the breath. Take an extra breath here. Exhale, release. Oh, that's good stuff. Inhale, flat back. Fingers on the shins or the mat. Draw the shoulders back. Lift through the chest. Take an extra breath. Exhale, forward, fold. Releasing down. You want to put the weight forward in the toes so you're not compressing here. You want to be out here. You have a little space in here in which to practice the art of respiration. Inhale, flat back. An extra breath, tuck the chin slightly. Exhale, dive down here. There we go. A little wiggle. One more time, inhale, flat back. Extra breath, toes are loose. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, rising all the way up, 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 up. Shoulders back and down, and then dive back down, forward fold. From here, step back, plank position, high push up. Press forward and work on that hover. The only way to get better is to practice it. Work on it, hard work pays off. Elbows hugging the ribs, shoulders are back, press the heels back, then we gently lower all the way down, inhale. Up into cobra or upward facing dog. Pose like up dog demands respect. Shoulders are back, squeeze the glutes and the tops of the thighs. Neck is loose, legs are back, and then exhale downward facing dog. As we pass through these flows, as we collect hay on our workout pants, inhale left leg. 
bring it up to the sky, flex the foot, take another breath, inhale, lift higher, exhale, bring it forward, low lunge, line up the ankle and the knee, drop the right knee, shoulders back, fix the signature shirt, hands on the top of the thigh right here, shoulders are back, this is a great one for this hip flexor right here, it gets tight, the quad, little IT band, yeah, a little twist in here, a little side to side. I love seeking out adjustments, natural, natural adjustments. They just happen, aligning your body. Good. Take the right hand down, left arm, lower back, twist, two breaths, draw the shoulder back. And again, exhale, twist a little further. You get used to this. Oh yes. All right, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, flex the foot. Another breath, and exhale forward, low lunge. Don't think a big fireworks right now. Get your foundation, knee and ankle lined up, shoulders back, chest is open, shirt slightly rolled up a little higher. Two more breaths. There we go. You find that release, that calm in the storm. You have all these things going on, but you're actually releasing the areas that do not have to be tense. Let's twist it. Left hand down, right arm, lower back. Two breaths. Exhale, twist, squeeze out the sides. Happy hip flexors. Bugs, all right, step it back this time. Plank position, high push-up. Press forward, hover. Going through those vinyasa power flows all the way down cobra or upward facing dog. Legs are back. Oh, that's good stuff. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Again. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, left foot forward, full lunge. This time, back foot tucks. Fingers down or reach up and back. Let's unhook the, sh the shirt. Good, sink down with the exhales. Two more breaths. Feel the extension up with the inhale. Feel the release down with the exhale. And there's a twist, right hand down, left arm lower back, two breaths. Once more. Excellent, exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Even higher with the inhale and forward lunge. You want to iron out, smooth out those transitions as I stumble. Inhale up and up. Lift with the inhale, tall, powerful, but delicate. Stretching the back leg, press that left heel down. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Left hand down, right arm lower back. The class I took yesterday was good, but I was itching. I was itching one more breath because I wanted more cues. They weren't cueing all that much. They just tell you the pose. And I look around the room and there's so many things that could be corrected or be done better with a little more cueing. So that's my burden. Step back when I take classes. Plank and lower down. I'm sure there's some people who think I don't cue enough. Or maybe not. I've never been accused of not talking enough. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Hmm. Hold here for another breath. Lift a little higher. Hmm. Shoulders back. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the tops of the thighs. And exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Warrior one. Inhale, left leg up. Lift higher. Inhale. Exhale forward, pivot the right foot. Inhale, lift the arms. There we are, shoulders back and down. Really extend as you breathe in. As you exhale, sink into this leg. Keep this hip open for business. All right, set the hands down. Step back, down dog, right leg up. Lift higher, and warrior one. Pace. 
transitions, smooth them out, sand them down. You want to put turtle wax on them, make them shiny. One more breath. Oh, all right. We come down, hinging down, step back, plank, forward, hover, elbows in, grass in the eye, cobra, or up dog. Ah, one more breath here, lift a little higher, shoulders back, chest open, abs stretching, downward facing dog. Jump or walk the feet forward, forward fold into chair, arms up. Let's breathe right here. Let's enjoy our chair. Exhale, sink back. Inhale, lift the arm. Three more breaths. Ooh, one more breath. We got it. Exhale, dive. Forward fold. That might be the best forward fold of our lives right there. <sighs> Grab the opposite arm, sway it side to side. <sighs> back and forth. Limber lower back. Always limber. All right, release the arms. Inhale, flat back. Shoulders back, take an extra exhale here. On the inhale, step or jump back, plank position. Press forward, chaturanga. Down we go, down we go. And we can't go any further. Inhale, up dog. <sighs> One more breath. Downward facing dog. Jump or walk forward. Again, chair this time. Arms out, take the arms out, take them back. <sighs> really open up, you're pulling the straps back. Three more breaths, sink down with the exhale. Chin tucked just a little bit. And exhale, dive, reach the arms back, mudra, lace the fingers. Palms together if you like. Neck is loose. There we go, always get a nice little neck adjustment in the mudra. I do. I don't know if you do, but I do. We're selfish, aren't we? <laughs> well, we gotta take care of ourselves first before we can really serve others. We gotta get focused. Focused. Alright, one more breath. Alright, inhale. A little surprise here. Mudra, chair. It can be done. It can be done. Shoulders back if you like. Tippy toes. Flying mudra chair. Starring Sally Field. The flying mudra chair. Get it? Got it? Good. Three more breaths. Breathe. Oh, one more breath. Sink down a little lower. All right, exhale. Dive down mudra for just a moment. Release the arms down. Yes, inhale, flat back. Draw the shoulders back. What's this cheat sheet doing? Get it out of here. All right. Exhale, forward fold. Dive down. Inhale, flat back. Shoulders back. Strong, strong. Strong in your alignment. Alignment causes focus to sharpen. Step or jump back. Plank. High push up forward. Hover. Hang out here for a moment if you like. Remember, work on those hovers. Add a little movement if you like. All the way down. Up dog. Or cobra. Twist. Side to side, back and forth. There we are, in the nose, out the nose. And then, downward facing dog. Mat maintenance. <laughs> Gotta film outside. Please don't make me film inside. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, forward lunge. Remember our crescent lunge? No, I don't evidently. Take the fingers down, inhale, reach up. And sink down, press that right heel towards the ground. Take it to warrior three. The weight goes in the left foot, right leg up. Or hands in prayer position. 
exhale back to lunge this is one I need to work on more hence we're doing it here let's do it again warrior three exhale back third time's a charm one more time inhale up and forward two more breaths oh beautiful step back lunge hinge forward hinge 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 step back plank into hover you can do a little hop if you like i did the other leg for some reason there we are and up dog cobra or cobra down dog inhale right foot forward lunge now we have our three times from lunge to warrior three inhale forward oh i'm on a weird stump a mound exhale back smooth transition there we are placing our bodies all over the place again inhale warrior three and back lunge one more time forward two more extra breaths oh yes all right back to lunge here we are balance work the balance hinge hinging hinging step her back to plank i'm going to hop with the other leg to even it out and then up dog cobra downward facing dog oh, just i mean can you just stay there matt five breaths right here release the shoulders sink the heels down breathe like your life depends on it as if you're going to go underwater for 30 seconds take each breath in be serious about it Once more. All right, jump or walk the feet forward. Bum, 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 bum. Inhale, rising up. Rise, 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 rise. Oh, tree pose, right? Uh, um, right leg first. Hands in front of the chest, open the right hip. Take that heel below or above the knee inside the leg. Standing leg, that would be your left knee is slightly soft five breaths breathe deep into that belly button it should be pooching every time you inhale pooching out so comfortable with trees, so focused that so you can take a nap, you can study, you can read, watch TV, floss, or sand your house, <laughs> scrape your house, that's right. All right, inhale, extended tree, bring the arms up over the head, relax the shoulders. Oh dear, oh man, this tree, this tree is always a challenge always one more breath all right let's crouch this tree one of my favorites teach it in my live classes all the time take the right ankle on top of the thigh pressing back five breaths you're lifting upper body's lifting two more breaths in the nose, out the nose. <laughs> All right, you like pigeon? So do I. Take the leg back, right leg forward. Hello, pigeon. Hello, bee. All right, pigeon to bee. I call this a sliding pigeon. That's the bee. Okay, I'm gonna walk forward. That. And then inhale, come back up with the B. All right, take it four more times. We put up a sign saying no bees, but they don't listen. Take it forward. 
pushed up. Sit on me. Might be the weirdest instructor you ever worked with. But I plead the fifth. When you're filming outside, you're at the mercy of the critters and creatures around you, and I do admit I enjoy that, the unpredictability of it. And once more, bring it forward. There's our beloved pigeon. And from here, we're going to step back to plank position. Vinyasa power flow. Press forward. Exhale, let it match your movement. Lower down, chaturanga. Mm, all the way down. Good. Lift up, up dog. Or cobra. Take the legs back. One more breath. Lift up a little higher. More time under tension with the muscle. Tuck the toes. Down dog. Walker jump forward to forward fold. We're going to rise up. And we have a date with tree on the other side. Open the left hip. Bring it up. Some people like to get the hands first. Some like to get the foot. Find your tree. Uh, connect the dots moment there. Which do you do first? That can always change. I mean, come on. If someone writes a book on yoga, they will give you instructions for a pose. They work. But there's always little nuances to that. Different ways to get into it, depending on so many factors. A lot of it's the flow, where you are in the flow. Inhale, extended tree. Things that really get my motor running is new sequencing, flowing new, uh, different ways to flow the poses together. It's like learning a new sentence and a new language. It really gets me excited. And I just can't hide it. Two more breaths. The right knee is a little soft. Shoulders relaxed. And let's crouch that tree. Ankle on top of the thigh. Down we go. Also a nice little hip opener here. But the real hip opener begins with the pigeon. So this is, this is the overture. The entract. Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Alright, comment below what overture is that? What opera is that from? One of the most famous operas. Alright, <laughs> step back, pigeon, left leg forward, five pigeon slides. Perhaps the B will join us again. Here we go, five times, exhale forward. Inhale, lift up, shoulders back and down. Again, melting but lengthening, hinging into that pigeon. Don't do it to a real pigeon. It's cruel. Three more times. Oh, mama, mama. No, 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 no. It's in my head now. <laughs> All right, two more. Bring it down. La, 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 la. All right, once more, forward, bring it up, there's your pigeon, I got your pigeon right here, lift, oh, pigeon, yes, lower down, one last stretch, extrapolate a little bit more from that pose, strip it away, step back, plank, into hover, let me show you something. Hold the hover, hold the plank, or bring it down. If you're holding the hover, lift the right leg up, and then we switch. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, da, 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 da. All right, up dog. Cobra. I almost lost my mind there. Just for a moment. All right, child's pose. Knees to the outside edges of the mat. Take these arms forward. These arms here and lengthen. You don't want to sell yourself short in that child's pose. Been using this stretch a lot. I just finished my ninth book. It's a 30-day exclusive program. 
SVF365, my answer to P90X. I spend a lot of writing and a lot of filming. I filmed 22 really um, exclusive, complete workouts for it. So we've been hitting the child's pose a lot. That's at SeanVFitness.com, by the way. Sorry. Got the plug in there. Had to get it. But it ties in with what we're doing, showing you that I use, I use these poses for all sorts of different things. There might be certain ones that you use for something specific, maybe a sport you play, maybe after a, a lot of studying for a test, you want to do some down dog. Find them, they're yours. Piece them in, choose your own adventure. All right, press up. Just a few more poses here. We got to do it. Let's do the dolphin. Dolphin. You say it twice, you're granted all sorts of gifts. All right, walk the feet forward. It's getting warm out here, so if something random pops out of my mouth, she said, just let it go. All right, really press it back. You don't want this in the dolphin. That's that's silly. I mean, you could do a little forward and back, but you want to move this direction. Think of your whole being moving into your heels. Just hold it here. Breathe. Let that back open up. The shoulders, the arms, the legs, the spine. See, in Wisconsin, we have humidity. In Colorado, not so much. But in Wisconsin, we have a lot of oxygen. In Colorado, not so much. In Wisconsin, <laughs> sounds like a George Carlin sketch. In Wisconsin, we have really big squirrels. In Colorado, we have big bears. Had a really massive bear walk right through the yard a couple days ago in Colorado. Got it on photo. If I remember, I'll put the photo up here on the screen. Looked like a grizzly, but I don't think he was. Probably some kind of black bear, but he was brown. Two more breaths. All right. Bring those knees down. Woo! Shake it out, shake it out. Let's come to the last part of this flow. All right, let's bring it on to our backs. You recognize this? I don't. All right, bring it to your backs. Bridge. Bye, Eddies. She's keeping the set safe. I hope you have a dog there to keep order on the set. All right, feet. Yeah, a few inches apart, arms to the sides, fingers brushing the heels. Inhale, peel the spine off the mat into the bridge. If you like, you can lace the fingers underneath. You can also bring the shoulders underneath the body. Now, last yesterday when I took the class, that yoga class, we did some bridges, but cues were missing that I that I really like, like a cue like open your chest a little more, draw your shoulders back. Lace the fingers, drop the arms down to get the length in the arms. Keep the chin slightly tucked. <sighs> so many things. And when you peel off the mat, it's one vertebrae at a time. So as we lower down right here, I want you to exhale. You keep the pelvis tilted up and you roll and massage the spine one vertebrae at a time. Back down. That's what I wanted to say. So you release the breath. And again, inhale, peel. Pelvis tilts up. If you do Pilates with me, I do a lot of Pilates, so obviously you do. We we tilt that pelvis up, we come on up. Pick your poison right here. <sighs> Face is loose. Definitely don't want to move your head around in the bridge. Three more breaths. Expanding with the inhale. Let your body lengthen with the exhale. Right, Dad? All right. You never know when I'm going to call on somebody. Right. And you, cowardly lion. <laughs> bridge. Come on. Oh, well. Someone know this dog? There's that bear. Exhale, lower down, keep the pelvis lifted. Massage down. This time, drop those legs side to side, the windshield wipers. Arms can be out of the sides or over the head. Camera's on, that's good. That's good. Before we came out here to film, there was a, a panic. We couldn't find the Tarjay cap right here. We couldn't find it. So, you know, these are the things. We just thank God that we found it. All right, again, if you want to do wheel pose, you can take the hands here and lift all the way up. I'm going to leave it here because I want to. 
that may sound weird, but that's that's what we do. How do you feel today? You want wheel? You want this? You want to work on this? That's fine. Never be intimidated by it. Make it work for you. Practice. Practice. This is, that doesn't mean you don't work on it. You don't practice it. You're not consistent. You do it all the time. If you miss a few days, so what? Don't just drop away from it. Come back. Come back. Your body remembers it. it celebrates when you come back. One more breath. Lift. Exhale. Lower down. Bring the knees in this time. Eddie's going to eat all that grass. All right, rocking side to side. Tommy, my dad's clapping over there. <laughs> that's, the, that's the sound he uses to get her to come. It never works. All right, let's bring it up. We'll finish off a little core work here. I like a little core work to refresh and invigorate the soul. And of course, the core. <laughs> All right, about, half boat. What, Dan? Worried about kicks, so we don't want to get him. Well, we'll go over and get. You can walk. Can he walk in front? He can walk. We'll we'll do half boat while my dad does his own one man parade. He's wearing my high school colors, by the way. The West Salem Panthers are orange and black, so Halloween is like a homecoming. Bring the feet off the mat, shoulders back and down. We have half boat. My dad and I will probably go fishing in a couple days. We'll be in a boat, so this. This kind of gets us ready for that. If you want more full boat, take the legs out. Enjoy the show in the background. Five more breaths. Take the arms higher if you like. I do say this is very charming without shoes on. Less weight, I don't mind. It's wearing my glasses. One more breath. Okay, let's enjoy a walking folding leaf. We're going to do that half boat one more time. So grab the feet, ankles, or toes. Walk the legs. Walk the legs. Pat the dog. Most famous dog in Wisconsin right now. Actually, no, she's right behind Benji. <laughs> Four more steps here. Sink the back of the knee down. All right, half boat once more. Let's get into it the proper way. Feet down, shoulders back and down, fingers loose. Inhale, bring the legs up. You can go to full boat if you wish. 10 breaths, finish strong. Let's focus, let's breathe, let's direct traffic. Five more breaths. Shaking. Two more. Okay. Oh, that was fun. Don't tell anyone we're going to throw in a Pilates move here because my dad's right behind the camera. This is his favorite move. It's called the saw. Heels to the outside edges, arms out. We're going to twist two pulses up and to the outside of that foot. Ten times starting now. Good. I course do a lot of Pilates classes and videos you're on this my YouTube channel wherever you're watching this from just browse or type in Sean Vig Pilates on Google on Bing on on YouTube and you will have a, a lot of workouts a lot of them actually come up to the top of the search engines which I'm forever grateful for that two more times all right hinge forward lengthen lengthen take another breath And let's cascade down into child's pose. Are you ready? Knees to the outside edges. And exhale, lengthen back. Thank you, my friend. Yes! Oh. <laughs> And um, lost for words on that. The flow speaks for itself. Make sure you pick up a copy of my best-selling paperback, Power Yoga for Athletes, Barnes & Noble, Books a Millionaire at SeanVigFitness.com. And, and my website, 
Um, you can get, download my free fitness app. It's very popular for Apple and Android, and you can browse my other collection of best-selling books. I have six best-selling books right now on Amazon. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Live from, well, not really live, but kind of live from West Salem, Wisconsin, Vets Park. It's a pleasure. As always, this is this is so much fun. What fun we had. I, di I didn't get bit once. I got buzzed by a bumblebee a few times. In Colorado, it's the the hummingbirds that dive bomb me. We'll have to do a book on that. But, uh, subscribe, like, comment, share. God bless. Life is but a walking shadow. My captain does not answer. His lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm. He has no pulse, nor will. The ship is anchored safe and sound. Its voyage closed and done. From fearful trip, the victor ship comes in with object one. Exalt, O shores, and ring, O bells. But I, with mournful tread, walk the deck my captain lies. Fallen cold and dead.